There is yet another COVID-19 variant circulating. The BA5 variant is showing signs of reinfection at a record rate, according to the CDC. Dr. Natasha Bagdasarian, Chief Medical Executive for the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, is here to talk with us about that and a few other questions that are on the minds of many here in West Michigan. So, Dr. Bagdasarian, how concerned do we need to be about this new BA5 variant? Well, what we're seeing with uh, BA5 and BA4 is that these are sub-variants of Omicron that are more transmissible and they are more immune evasive, which means that those who have some prior immunity, either from prior infection or from vaccination, are still uh, potentially able to get infected. However, the good news is the vaccines are still incredibly effective at preventing severe outcomes. And speaking of vaccinations, people are wondering, should I get that fourth booster or should I wait to the fall to get that modified booster that people are talking about now? What we know is that if you are eligible for a booster, so if you are, for example, over the age of 50 and uh, immunocompromised or have other risk factors and you are eligible for that second booster, um, this is a good time to get it. What we're seeing when we look across the country is that while Michigan is still mostly in green when we look at our CDC um, community risk level, much of the country is in red. And that is in, in part due to this BA5 subvariant spreading through the southern part of the country. And it's a matter of time before we start seeing the effects here in the state. And so being prepared and having the best protection possible, and that means being fully vaccinated and boosted is your best chance to having a safe and healthy summer. So if you get boosted now, can you still get that modified vaccine then in the fall? Our um, federal partners are meeting and they'll be providing our full set of recommendations in um, probably the early fall. It does appear that if you get your booster now, you will likely be eligible for one of those new uh, modified boosters in the fall, but the timing we have not heard specifics about. Speaking of that, what do you have to say for people who have followed all of the recommendations and they've gotten all of their boosters and they're up to date, but they still seem to be getting one or two of these variants that are coming through? They're getting a little discouraged and frustrated. Well, COVID-19 is here to stay. Uh, the chances of being able to completely avoid COVID-19 are decreasing as time goes on. This is not a pandemic that is going to pass by and then we won't have to think about COVID anymore. COVID is with us. Being vaccinated and boosted is your best chance of avoiding the severe outcomes. So even though it is inconvenient to have a mild case of COVID, we wanna make sure we're not spreading it to family and friends. It's important to remember that had you been unvaccinated, you likely would have had more severe disease. These are all things to continue to be remembering as we move into the fall and we have more vaccinations even that we need to get like flu and so forth, which I'm sure we'll be talking about in the future. So thank you so much for taking time with us, Dr. Bagdasari, and answering these questions. I've got more information on vaccinations and also treatments and COVID-19 on 13onyourside.com.